Every year in Victoria, about 270 children are brought to the emergency department of a hospital because they've taken a poison from their home environment and swallowed it. They'll often be leaning forward, they'll be dribbling, they'll be spitting up their saliva because they're unable to swallow. And that's a heart sink moment for me as a, as a surgeon because I'm seeing beyond that child and their, their, their bubbling mouth and thinking, oh goodness, there's a significant burn inside. My mind is going forward into the next weeks, months and years ahead because these are children that are going to need stretching of their scarred swallowing tube, the esophagus. So over the next year or two, they might have 30, 40, 50 times back into hospital. And you just know that, but for prevention, none of this would be happening. And you just wish that you could wind back the clock and go back and make that environment safe. So most cleaning products are poisonous. Medications are often should be thought of as poisons. Button batteries should be thought of as poisons. And we need to take these and prevent a child having access to them. We need to bring them up out of reach. The reality is that most people put them under the laundry sink or under the kitchen sink. That is not a safe place. And they also need to be behind locked doors. And the next important aspect is to always keep poisons and medicines and other things like button batteries in their original packaging. Many of these bottles or devices will have a, a child safety element. They'll prevent the curious child being able to unscrew the lid and to drink from the bottle, for example. In the event that this does occur, it also is important that a parent knows exactly what a child has had. Early recognition that a child has swallowed something dangerous is at the heart of successfully looking after that child and avoiding tragedy. There's a group of children in whom it is less easy to recognise that they've swallowed something dangerous. They might be able to verbalise that they've done that, or they might be unwell, they might be spitting up their saliva or vomiting. And these might be soft signs that the parent is thinking, ah, I, I'm worried that my child may have sw swallowed something dangerous. A very quick look around to see if there's any, anything to suggest that that would be the case is important. But if you have any concerns, calling the poisons information line and expressing those concerns and getting their expert advice is essential to bringing your child quickly to safety.